You want to get Neo Forge mods in Minecraft 1.21, and this shouldn't be confused with Forge mods. They are completely different, and Forge mods won't work with Neo Forge, and Neo Forge mods won't work with Forge. I'm sorry it's confusing, but that's kind of where we're at now with the Minecraft mod loaders. So let's go ahead and get Neo Forge for Minecraft 1.21. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below that will take you here. This is Neo Forge download page, and once you're here, you want to find the 1.21.0 in this case, but Minecraft 1. 21 download a Neo Forge. Under this, you want to go ahead and click on latest installer, and when you do it, we'll go ahead and open up and start the download. You may need to keep or save this file like I need to, or it might just download right away, but no matter what, it is safe to keep it because Neoforge is, well, a trusted mod loader. Nevertheless, once you've downloaded it, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to find this in our downloads folder this is in my downloads folder, at least. For you, it's going to be wherever you download files, too. So for me, it's my downloads folder. For you, it's wherever files go after they download. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and right-click on NeoForge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if you do? And you click OK and it doesn't work. Well, it's probably because you don't have Java 21. You may have older versions of Java, but with Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So in the description down below, we have this, which is an in-depth guide on getting Java 21, downloading it, installing it. It's a video guide. It's a text guide. Whichever one you prefer, it's there for you to help you out. Once you've got Java, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making sure they work together. And while you're getting Java set up, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown today. XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected NeoForge server in Minecraft 1.21. You can play NeoForge mods with your friends in just a few clicks, and if there's a mod pack that you want to play, there's hundreds of mod packs with one click installation as well, making those super easy to get up and running. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out every step of the way, so go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, we have now got Forge installed, so we can right click on NeoForge, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. This will open up the NeoForge installer. In here, all you'll want to do is click Install Client and click Proceed. When you do it, we'll go ahead and download and install NeoForge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed and make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21 before. That's just opening it up to the main menu and closing out of it without any other mods installed or anything. NeoForge needs that to happen and needs those files from vanilla in order to install. But as you can see, successfully installed client profile, NeoForge. So we can go ahead and click OK, and that will close out of that, and we can actually delete the NeoForge installer. Now at this point, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft with NeoForge. This is done from the Minecraft launcher, so we go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once we're in the launcher, we can go ahead and go to installations up here at the top. Then we have this NeoForge installation. You're good to go if you've got that. Go ahead and click play, but if you don't have NeoForge here, go ahead and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, modded's not not checked here and it's not there as soon as you check it there it is but if you still don't have neoforge or you launch neoforge and it's the wrong version it's for an older version of minecraft or something like that go ahead and click new installation here you can do this whatever you want i'm gonna name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play minecraft with your friends and then we want to click this versions drop down box and in here we want to find release neoforge and unfortunately they're naming if anyone from NeoForge is watching this, it needs to be improved a bit because it's hard to tell what version of Minecraft you're using. Now, from what I've seen, it's this first one. So 121. 21 is the version of Minecraft 1.21 in this case that you are playing. But because it doesn't have that 1.21, people don't know how to look for that, I feel like, and it's a little more confusing. So just adding that extra version number in there can actually go a long way. Uh, similar to, you know, Forge here having the specific version and Fabric having the specific version as well. So we want to select this one here, 21, meaning 1.21. 1.0, meaning the base version, and then the 30th version of NeoForge. Now we can go ahead and click the resolution here if you need to, and click Create. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile, and all you got to do to play NeoForge at this point is click Play on it. Either that NeoForge profile that was there by default, or the one that you created, and now Minecraft will open up with NeoForge install. But you might want to know how to add NeoForge mods. Well, first you would need to find them, and in the description down below we have a link to here. This is Moderant, that we also have a link to CurseForge. This is where you can find NeoForge mods. Just make sure you're filtering for NeoForge. As you can see here, that's already done on Moderinth, but you can also search by specific versions. So 1.21 in this case, and all these are updated for 1.21 and the NeoForge mod loader. Remember, NeoForge mods 
will only work with Neo Forge. Forge mods will not. So if you have a mod that works with Forge, it's not going to work with Neo Forge. You must have a Neo Forge compatible mod. Same thing on Curse Forge here. You can come down on the left hand side, select Neo Forge, and then change the game version to 1.21. And all of these are 1.21 compatible Neo Forge mods. So Journey Map here, for example, if we go into Files, we will be able to see that it has a Neo Forge 1.21 version right here. Now, in order to install this, you would simply download it and then you would add the mods to your mods folder. How do you do this? Well, with Minecraft open, go to mods here and then click open mods folder in the bottom left and that will open your mods folder. Then drag and drop the mod you want to install, in our case just enough items, into the mods folder right like so. So for example, if you open this mods folder, just enough items is in there. But it's not in game and that's because you need to close out of NeoForge and reopen Minecraft with it because when you reopen it, it's going to activate the mod and it will be installed and working and you'll be good to go. So if we just play Minecraft either with our NeoForge profile or the NeoForge installation we created, when Minecraft opens up, we'll be able to have the mod. It'll be working. Just enough items will be working. We'll be able to see what kind of crafting recipes and things we can see in game. So now if we go to mods, we will see just enough items. There it is. So that's how you can get NeoForge and install NeoForge mods in 1.21. Just remember, Forge mods won't work. Only NeoForge mods will work with NeoForge in Minecraft 1.21. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.